Hello again. So this week I just want to show you my luggage or lack of it. A laptop computer bag with a laptop and various bits of computer paraphernalia and um, also a very limited amount of clothing such as a spare pair of shorts and a t-shirt and a guidebook and a towel and a pair of socks but nothing much else. So I left Madurai, the temple city and um, the next morning I arrived in Bangalore. So that's this episode. I'm in now in Bangalore and Hyderabad. So Bangalore, Silicon City. Um, it, in the last 10 years or so, this city has grown immensely. Um, it's the, one of the economical powerhouses of India now, with many of the software companies there. But um, this is crowd control with a stick wielding policeman, and the traffic there is pretty horrendous actually. But um, due to the new developments there, there are shopping centres and banks and um, all manner of uh, multinational companies have settled in Bangalore now. Um, so there's plenty of work there. But um, of course this is in the city but around and outside the cities like this there's still a terrible amount of poverty. But um, so here we are. Um, this is the latest Bollywood blockbuster. These hoardings, or you know, adver advertisements, are hand painted. They are huge, and th this one it just covers the whole front of the cinema. Um, you know, this is quite an industry in India actually painting these sort of things. And of course, lots of bookshops, um, and you know, a lot of English books there, of course. And um, here's a, a herb market set up below a new viaduct, a new motorway and um, back, meanwhile back at uh, Bangalore station um, I was happy to be back there actually after this day but um, here's the rather strange sign here foot over bridge um, I, well you can guess what it means next day Hyderabad and I took a bus across town um, and uh, past this very large lake which lies between the two parts of the city Secunderabad and Hyderabad and um, I took a, a, the bus out to a place called Golconda um, Golconda Fort it's a medieval fort and um, it's um, got it's a long history actually it stands about 400 feet above on, on a hill and this is the clapping hall where if you clap you people in the palace at the top of the hill should be able to hear you. But this is what I said um, as I was walking up the hill. It was a very hot day. Right, walking up the steps. This does remind me rather of that trip in Madurai. Way up there ahead you can see a French couple. The woman has got a green umbrella just what I need today. It's getting quite hot, although it's bearable. There's quite a nice breeze blowing, so um, the sun has come out again. So there you go. Yeah, you can tell I think I was pretty hot at that point, but the ruins are absolutely amazing, and some of the uh, fortress is built on top of rocks, and underneath there's quite a lot of tunnels and such like and uh, in this one I heard well you could hear them now can't you the bats um, huge number of bats there I don't know how many maybe thousand I don't know but um, the smell was pretty awful actually um, so I was glad to be outside again and this is sweeping round and looking at, uh, at um, Hyderabad from the top of the from the top of that hill, um, absolutely wonderful view, and everything was very green, of course, you know, lots of beautiful green grass around. So, everybody goes to Hyderabad, or not everybody, but most people want to see this, the Charminar, which um, was built around 1591, 
and um, it's uh, well, it's actually called uh, the charm of Hyderabad, but really charmina means four minarets. So um, it's uh, quite a spectacular thing to see, actually, and um, very busy streets. And here's a, a scooter with four people on it, actually, two women on the back and a small person in front of him. So that's it for this week, and next week I'll be in, in uh, Aurangabad, and really this is one of the highlights of the trip to see the Kailasa Temple at Ellora, one of the most fantastic things we've ever seen. So goodbye, see you next week.